Hi, so in the last couple of weeks, the last things have been moved in and now I think it's time to give you a little tour of this new dormitory of mine. Now I'm going to get started where we would enter the door with the door, which is a little bit uh, stuck. So you open it up like that and when you close it, especially it makes a really weird sound and it just goes a bit slow. But also these three suction cuffs that I put on because you can't really tape or uh, screw anything into the walls and doors. These used to be a little bit on sale but with this little trick they now fit perfectly. Whereas a small bag, two bags and this is my scarf in case it gets really cold. That's the lamp that I would use for the tour video. Normally I never turn it on because it's a really drab and uncozy light. Rather we go to the bed, which again is a pretty high one as you can see. Single person, 90 by 200 centimeters. I'm going to convert that to Imperial for American folks. These are bean bags. I've got two of them and they're pretty nice just sitting on when they're on the ground or I can use them to sit again. As per from the front, you can see various boxes and separate things as well as this sheet that daddy made for me when I was younger. Um, like when I got my first ever bed and it's been moved in as well. That's this little pyjamas that's it below the beanbag. Where's the most commonly used night light? It was actually painted by me, black, and this was made by mommy. And right there you can see the uh, pillow and if I remove this beanbag you can see a small emoji pillow over there and an Elmo uh, plushy figure over there. Then we have these boxes. Let's go through. And this one contains my winter clothing, that one summer clothing, that one special items uh, like a swimwear. Um, here's my water boiler or kettle, whatever you call it. That is a spare box and that box contains really important documents and the external hard drive that I make backups on every Friday. Really important. This bag is used almost exclusively for clothing. Um, I wash um, at a washing machine just outside, um, as does everyone. Just around the corner here, we have the TP-Link router connected to the shared internet connection and power. No connections around that, that because it uses Wi-Fi. Also right there, this is the um, Fedor van Rossum Utrecht Underground Travelers Map. I took this from my birthplace just because it looks very nice and is a bit of a uh, remembrance to that. So our three things here. This is a little reading help from him as well for the Utrecht island. There is what's called a pancake plan because one of my aunts um, makes pancakes a lot and loves them. Get, I think this one needs a bit of water. And there is a plant given by my personal tutor back when I was in secondary and closed it off as well as two cards. I'm not going to show because they contain private information. There's this teeny tiny little fan which I can use in the hot month to cool me down a little bit. And similarly the radiator which I can turn on when it gets really cold. And some cups and this window which also has a bit of trouble opening. But in exchange we have these nice paintings and curtains. Also some books I'm trying to get the fun back into reading. These drawers contain drawings and spare equipment here, some study things here and the spare batteries, some spare notebooks, a sapler, stuff like that. This contains study books and a small notebooks. 
and this one contains small electric devices like there's a power supply for my keyboard, there's a power supply for my Nintendo 3DS, a spare RCA cable and spare Ethernet cable, my charger for this camera, a spare mouse and a power bank small one. And there's also some games like playing cards and Rummy Cup, which is I think a typical Dutch game and my CD and DVD collection. And on the side here are some sports clothes for in case I want to go to um, a, the gym, which is pretty nearby. On to my desk, I didn't really clean up anything for this tour. Um, tripod is still here even. That's the microphone mouse being mounted a little bit differently than what I showed in the show because of stability issues, ironically. That pad for my wireless earbuds to charge onto, that switch turns on and off. This nice warm white desk lamp. Um, this is my Dell Ultra Monitor, same that I used in my first setup. Um, there is the same old optical drive that I've got with the computer, just two stories lower. In the middle here sits my Presonus Audio Box 96 audio interface, which is currently connected to my computer to output the audio signal. Hopefully a bit better than the internal sound card can. But if I feel creative and want to make some music, I can just plug this into my iPad and record my keyboard onto it. And at the very bottom, there's the switch box where everything connects again. Everything has been mounted using these elastics on the side here. Oh, uh, that's a bottle of detergent. Um, there's the Raspberry Pi and some power wiring. There is the main power strip, which is always on. Uh, computer power supply, Raspberry Pi power supply. This is the wireless switch that turns on and off the light when I press that button on the desk itself. We go around the back here, some connections there. That's the laptop charger. And I've used some spare cable binders like this one that came with the mic mount to properly cable mount all of the uh, connections. And right there's the power outlet. Two power switches, one and that one, which I can turn on and off at once. And that's my musical keyboard. And that's my actual typing keyboard for if I want to use Windows on the main computer. So we enter the bathroom. Vitamin electric toothbrush. Um, I used to actually use a regular toothbrush for a year, and then my dentist recommended an electric toothbrush which broke down years later and just this year I actually bought this one which not only indicates the end of the full 120 minute brush cycle but also indicates when I have to go to a different uh, region of the mouth. Do you know what the difference is between this charging pad from my electric toothbrush and this charging pad for my earbuds? You guessed it, they both charge wirelessly, but for some reason the charging pad for my wireless earbud doesn't have a sort of stud coming out of it, whilst the one for my electric toothbrush does. Why <coughs> is that the case? I don't <coughs> know. There are some flexible toothpicks that I use afterwards in the evening, and the towel. Um, this is a small cubby that contains underwear, um, cleaning and spare equipment for the bathroom and some personal care stuff. There is some makeup on here as well which as you can see I forgot to put on for today even though I knew I was making this video. And the shaving machine. And the mirror. These power outlets I use only for charging the shaving or the Toothbrush. Also apparently small perfume that I'm hoping to replace very soon because it's old. And right over here, one last thing before I'm going to sign off. Um, there's quite a lot of things going on. There's this cable where I can put in my smartphone and use screen copy software. There's this weather station which shows temperature, humidity and time. This bucket filled with pens, markers and a knife that mummy gave me. And just like my mummy's mummies did, my mummy actually gave me these mandarins every week. I now have three of them. So it's like four or five every week. And 
Well, that's it. You know, since I live in a pretty small room, I can't really move or get a lot of different things. Um, but I do have some plans on what to add. For example, a little USB switch box to switch my audio interface between the computer and the external device connected like my laptop or my iPad. But uh, yeah, I don't know what's going to happen next. So see you next time. Bye bye. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you do, please give a thumbs up and share this video with all your friends and perhaps consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you, and I'll see you next time.